the shifting Phillips curve in practice. So, why did the original Phillips curve relationship apply to many historical cases? The original relationship between inflation and unemployment, the originally negative relationship perceived kiya gaya tha, it holds up as long as expected inflation and the natural rate of unemployment are approximately constant. So, the relationship hold karega us wakat tak, jab tak ye do cheezen constant hongi kaun kaun si? Expected inflation and natural rate of unemployment. This was true in the United States in 1960s, so the Phillips curve appeared to be stable. Why did the US Phillips curve disappear after 1970s? And in the 60s, we have to say that we have to say that we have to say that we have to say both the expected inflation rate and the natural rate of unemployment varied considerably more in the 1970s than they did in 1960s. 70s mein dono cheezein expected inflation bhi change ho gaye bahut usme variations aaye aur isi tarah se nature rate of unemployment mein bhi changes aaye. Especially important were the oil prices shocks 73, 74 or 79, 80 mein jo oil prices shock aaye the uski wajah se phir expectations logon ki yani prices badhna shuru ho gayi aur phir logon ki expectations bhi bahut zyada ho gayi ki prices bahut badhengi to unme bahut zyada variation aayi expected inflation mein aur iske alawa natural rate of unemployment kyun change hua the composition of the labor force changed in 1970s and they were there were other structural changes in the economy as well raising the natural rate of unemployment so, composition of labor force is that in the labor force, if, for example, female participation rate is higher, then it will be impact. If it is higher in teenagers, then it will be higher. So, this kind of changes are the natural rate of unemployment. The changes of unemployment are the changes of the 70s. The monetary policy was expansionary in the 1970s and leading to high and volatile inflation in the 70s. Or plotting unanticipated inflation against cyclical unemployment shows a fairly stable relationship since 1970s. Especially, in a module, we have seen that in the 1970s, the relationship between inflation and unemployment has no pattern. But if you have unanticipated unanticipated inflation and cyclical unemployment, को ऑब्जर्व करेंगे प्लॉट करेंगे तो अभी हम आप ग्राफ आप देखें इसमें आपको यहां पर अब हम इस एक्सिस पर क्या ले रहे हैं सिक्लिकल अनएम्प्लॉयमेंट पहले हम क्या लेते थे सिंपल अनएम्प्लॉयमेंट और इस एक्सिस पर हम ले रहे हैं जो अनएंटिसिपेटेड तो इसमें बहरहाल आप देख सकते हैं कि देयर आपको एक नेगेटिव रिलेशनशिप आप इसमें देख सकते हैं तो यानी अनएम्प्लॉयमेंट और इन्फ्लेशन के درمیان रिलेशनशिप जो है वो स्टेबल नहीं है नेगेटिव रिलेशनशिप है उसमें लेकिन वो स्टेबल नहीं है स्टेबल क्यों नहीं है इसलिए कि वो डिपेंड करता है दो चीजों पर एक्सपेक्टेड इन्फ्लेशन पर और सेकंडली वो डिपेंड करता है नेचर रेट ऑफ अनएम्प्लॉयमेंट पर तो अगर आप इसको अकाउंट फॉर करेंगे देन यू कैन सी देयर इज अ स्टेबल नेगेटिव रिलेशनशिप थैंक यू